Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike, and this is the podcast on Washita Mountain Living. And I'm not awake yet. Get my vitamins. Mm. Ah, one more time, I'm gonna hit it. Mm. Man, that's good stuff. <laughs> what do we talk about today? I don't know. The Super Bowl? <laughs> I could care less about the Super Bowl. All the hype. All this Taylor Swift. You know, I have never heard one single song that girl ever wrote. I guess she's a pop music. I don't listen to that garbage. It's all voice boxes and silliness. I don't watch it. I don't listen to it. Oh, and this Travis, whatever his name, that's all you see on the news. And guess what? I read something this morning that I was unaware of. But I guess I'm aware of it now. I guess now we have two national anthems. I ain't heard the other one yet. Oh. How many national anthems do we need? Do, does the one not apply to all? I guess not. But we got two now. I'm not even going to listen to the other one. And I hear some senator, he was complaining because nobody stood up for the second one. Why? Why would they? Why would they? That's like eating a Snickers bar and then always save brand comes out with a, with a kicker's. Okay. Ain't nobody going to buy that. That ain't no Snickers bar. They don't want it. It means nothing. Doesn't matter if it's 50 cents cheaper. They're not buying a Kickers over a Snickers. That's all I'm going to say on that. All right. That ought to stir up enough controversy as it is. Let me get the second thing. Ah, Did y'all watch me make that pizza yesterday on the other channel? I did. Let me be brutally honest with you. It sucked. Okay. You know what? I, I ate half of it, which was about three slices. I burnt the crust. The top was burnt. But it was much better when I ate it, reheated it in the uh, microwave oven last night and ate it that way. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, I put it in on the preheat mode on my toaster oven. And then it said 7 to 10 minutes on the crust package, whatever. Well, I think I left it in there at least 15, 20 minutes. Burnt the heck out of it. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it would have been much better had I followed the instructions, which I didn't. And another thing is that little toaster oven, uh, if it calls for 425 degrees, it doesn't go that high. And so I kind of let it go a little longer, but it's such a small enclosed oven. It doesn't need as long as it does or to be as hot as it is in a regular oven. Yeah, yeah it was terrible. I made the video. I got to say I lied when I was, if it was excellent, when I took that first bite, I would have let you know, but I had to just savor it for a few minutes. It sucked. But the good news is, I got enough ingredients and one more crust to do it again. But I'm not going to film that. Those, those food videos, the cooking videos, they don't get very good views. That video is about 550 less than usual on viewers. I don't know what it is. I guess people don't like food. I don't guess they like to eat. I ain't awake yet. I love mater juice. Mm. My grandmother used to make it. I never really learned how she did it, but I knew she made it by with tomato paste. and She made it homemade, and I've never been able to duplicate that. And this brand, best choice. To me, it tastes better than the Campbell. The Campbell's just don't taste. It's watered down. This brand's pretty good. So if you like tomato juice, look for the best choice brand. Mm. 
good. So it's right there, tomato juice. Yeah, yeah, if you made your own tomato juice out of tomatoes, where's my glasses? I gotta see, look at the ingredients here because I know there's always something bad. Let me see, it only has 630 milligrams of sodium. 27% of this is salt. <laughs> That's good for me. But I don't sit there and chug a big glass of it, what you just seen. This thing's lasted me about four or five days so far. It's going to last a little less. Mm. Get your blood pumping in the morning. With that much salt, yeah. That is something else you try, you know, your doctor, my doctor says, don't eat much salt. Have you tried to buy anything that's pre-made or that doesn't have salt? Uh, even canned goods with vegetables, the main ingredient is salt. So what do you do? Rinse them off before you cook them? Frozen vegetables I don't think have uh, near the salt that canned goods do. I'm sure it has something to do with preserving it. I don't know. But you can't stock up on a bunch of uh, frozen canned goods if your power goes out. So I don't have a lot of that. I got some in there, but not much. And frozen is probably, if, if you don't grow it yourself, frozen's the next best way. Um, the, it's the closest to growing your own. So today I'm going to go to town and get a bag of potting soil so I can get my seeds started. I don't know if I'm going to film any of that. And I've got them little uh, terrarium type things I'm going to plant them in. Probably just going to plant mostly tomatoes and bell peppers. I might plant some more herbs. But it's another rainy, nasty day. So there's nothing, not much going to be... Uh, I'm not going to get much done out there tomorrow. Now, I've asked for help for tomorrow uh, from Ivy's Family Factorum. He, Anson, I don't know if he's bringing his father-in-law. He's going to come over. We're going to get the area for the carport leveled out uh i may go pick up some railroad ties today to use in, the, in doing that and then get a couple of loads of gravel tomorrow and go to the graveyard there's a big huge pile of dirt that's free for the pickings and if we i get a couple hands helping me shovel that in to build up a good base because i just don't want to throw you know eight nine inches of gravel because that works its way down and you're really not going to have a good level surface so i want to build it up and kind of stamp it down make sure it's good and packed but the problem over there is the water will trickle downhill so i, I gotta do that and i want to take railroad ties and, and put on that one side at least probably do it on both and that will help hold the gravel in the water will work around it and go out the other way. But that's probably the best spot where I'm putting it um, to do that. So that is on the agenda for tomorrow because they are bringing it next Monday. A week from today, they will be showing up. And I've looked ahead at the weather. They're calling for ice in the morning. So I don't know if that's going to affect anything. These crews are coming out of Texas. They travel around. They'll load four or five of these carports up. Uh, for the area the people that have bought in the area and then they'll just go and they're showing up here about between 4 and 5 p.m uh, i don't know how long they work these guys but yeah i don't think it takes them too long to put them up they're not hard to put up and they have about a four or five four or five man crew i think so they could probably get it up pretty quick ah what else could i stir up i don't know Yesterday's video, eh, most people agreed with me. It's just my opinion, guys. And I did not mean shut down education 100%. But it does need to be restructured. Because the way it is now, there ain't no kids learning nothing. You know, it needs to be more trade-oriented. You know, if your kid wants to be a plumber, uh, you know, most kids aren't going to know what they want to be. You know, like, I I never knew I would become a journeyman press operator in a newspaper. It's just something I kind of fell into. But 
Schools teach a lot of nonsense, a lot of nonsense. Social studies, that's one they can throw out because <laughs> that ain't working no more. Yeah, learning how to get along with other humans. People don't get along with other humans. I like they used to. There's a lot of courses, uh, you know, and it's been a long time since I've been in school. There are a lot of courses that are garbage. Kids don't need to be wasting their time on. They need to learn to read, to write, and, uh, basic math. They can go on to the, learn something that's useful because they're, they're not coming out of school with useful skills. They're coming out with debt in college. Of course, you know, now you don't have to pay that back. You know, they're, they're trying to get it. Oh, yeah, you can go to four years of Harvard. We'll, we'll just, you don't have to pay that back. What is that teaching them? It's teaching them that everything the government, everything they do, the government will take care of for them. And that's, that is bringing up a lazy society. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't put cream in it. But this is the best choice brand I had on the shelf. It's not like, it's not like the taster's choice or whatever that was I was drinking. That's good. It tastes cheap. You ever notice things taste cheap when they are cheap? Ah, I don't know. So anyway, guys, I think in the future on these podcasts, I might pull up some videos once in a while. We some of the things that I see that you know I got I got to make fun of, and we might do some of that. Not not every video, but I mean I can only talk about so much stuff. When I, I got to find these topics. We'll go over the topics and let me make fun of things and, you know, hey, it's the way it is today. That's what people like. Criticism. They like that. Let me think. I don't know, man. Anyway, this morning was one of them rude awakening mornings with the dogs, you know. I woke up to a blood-curdling bark from Rooster, who is inside, because she heard Millie and Tilly out there raising a ruckus, and I didn't know what they were doing, so I look out the window. Apparently, one of them had killed a rabbit, and there wasn't much left other than the back legs, and they were fighting over the back legs. They weren't getting, you know, they weren't biting each other or nothing, but Millie had the legs, it was all in one little chunk until he wanted them. And when Tilly don't get her way, she barks as loud as she can. Woo! Letting Millie know she wanted them. Well, Millie wasn't having it. And so Millie grabbed the legs and she's running around the yard. Tilly's chasing her. But I seen Tilly do something that was funny. Took, Millie took off around the yard towards the pet cemetery. And or Millie did, with the legs, and, and Tilly's like, well, I'm going to cut her off. She went the opposite way around the yard and, and met her halfway. And Tilly just looked at her. Next thing I know, Tilly has the set of rabbit legs. Dogs, man. Yep. And you wouldn't think, but Lily, the one that's with Waldo, if she kills a rabbit... You got to go in there and get because she will sit there by it all day. She won't do anything to it. Anything she kills, whether it be a bird, once in a while a bird will venture in there. Rabbits get in there once in a while. They will get them. As fat as she is, she will get them. And she'll lay there all day next to it. And Waldo cannot walk by. She'll growl at him and, and kind of act like she's going to get him. I don't think she has it in her to do it. Oh, dogs. Man, they are, <laughs> it's one of them mornings, they were cooped up all day yesterday because of the rain, so they're full of it, and you get two, three days of rain, they can't do nothing. When, they, when that weather clears up, they are full of it, so I'm looking at them right now, don't know what they're doing. I keep an eye on them, they don't realize, I got cameras all around this place, I know what they're up to. They'll try to fool you once in a while. Oh, well, all right. Anyway, 
we're going to wrap it up for today, folks. And remember, if you're in California, do not put screws in your mouth because you'll get cancer. It says on the box. And I think it also says on the Bible, in the Bible too. I'm not sure. But in California, you can't put these in your mouth. I just thought, I don't know why I thought of that. It just always cracks me up. Every package you read has a different effect in California. I guess that's why it's such a successful state nowadays. I don't know. I got to pick on somebody. Today it's California. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.